you know, a big thing in the technical world <coughs> is choosing the right problem. So when you're looking at what to do, how to apply knowledge you have, and you want to make progress, you want to solve a problem, you want to pick a problem that's important that somebody cares if you solve. You pick a problem over here and you solve it and nobody cares, well, hmm. So pick a problem that people care about. And then pick a problem that's challenging but that is ultimately doable. Uh, patents are an amazing uh, thing. I have ten of them, one tending, and I have made not one single dime off of any of them. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's, it can be a little bit uh, disappointing. Uh, but patents are a, are a terrific uh, thing. Uh, they protect uh, intellectual property. Uh, the deal in a patent, as you probably know, is that for the reward of a period of protected time, uh, society gets benefit of your invention, and at the end of that protected time, uh, society gets the invention. It's meant to be a trade-off uh, of uh, opportunity for the inventor and ultimate uh, reduction to, uh, to good uh, for society. Uh, patents play a pretty different role in, uh, in different industries. Uh, there are fields uh, like uh, electronics in which a single uh, device like uh, one of these bad boys here uh, probably has three or four thousand patented uh, items uh, in it and probably seven or eight patent infringed items. In <laughs> and uh, different kinds uh, of patents. There's, there are greenfield patents in which you really say, oh wow, this is a really great intervention, invention. Uh, and then there are patents that I kind of characterize as shingles uh, on a roof. Each one might cover a little tiny bit of unique uh, intellectual property in its own, uh, but it's overlapped by, by many others. Uh, you can get what's known as a provisional patent, which gives you a year uh, protection while you develop the ideas more firmly, uh, develop the full patent application, and that the cost of filing a provisional patent with the U.S. Patent Office is, is not very high, so you can put your stake in the ground. Uh, once you develop a full so-called utility patent application, uh, that gets to be more expensive. Uh, the cost of the patent office and the cost of the lawyer to write it up can be anywhere from ten to, to $50,000. And so uh, companies and inventors look pretty carefully at, at the, the real nature of that invention before you put that kind of money into it up front. Different patenting laws in different co countries. Uh, you get different rules about when you disclose what. Uh, if you talk about your invention in the public space, uh, you automatically give up the right to patent it overseas. Uh, you still have some time in the U.S., uh, but um, be careful about how you publicly disclose something if you think it has intellectual property. Uh, I, in my own uh, field of technology, uh, was an expert witness in patent infringement cases, in which case you provide uh, your expert scientific opinion about what the, the patent is about and, and whether or not it's disclosed uh, by, the previous, uh, by the previous art, or whether or not it's quote-unquote obvious. In other words, did you, did, would anybody uh, with half a brain have been able to make that invention at that period of time? Uh, and of course, because that then generates a legal argument, uh, you can find people who will represent almost anything if you pay them $400 an hour. And so uh, that, uh, that gets sorted out in, uh, uh, in interesting ways. Uh, you get to pose, which means that you face uh, a video camera and a, uh, and a lawyer on the other side whose sole job is to make you look like an idiot. And your job is to try as hard as you can to avoid looking like an idiot. And uh, after that deposition, uh, you may have a settlement, or you may go to trial, and they go to jury trial or bench trial. And uh, you're being cross-examined, and, uh, and it's really uh, a high-wire act. Uh, patent uh, jury trial I had was for a formulation of a, uh, of a pharmaceutical, uh, an organ uh, rejection pharmaceutical. Uh, that had, that had sales of $9 billion a year. And if it went off patent, that would have sales of about $50 million a year. So it's high stakes. A lot of nervous people in the room as you're, as you're testifying. So if you have questions for me, I'm delighted to uh, answer them. If you have show and tell, which I think you might have show and tell, I'm delighted to work on that. So very pleased to be here.